we are going to take a look today at observations, inferences, and making classifications about different objects. Observations are something that we do every day in our everyday lives, not just something that we're going to be doing in earth science. Observations are the use of the five senses to gather information about the world around us. So we're using our five senses, sight, taste, touch, sound, and smell. Any statement that you make about something using your senses is an observation. If you look outside and you see that the sky is blue, and you say the sky is blue, that's an observation. Um, if you walk into a classroom and you notice that it's kind of cold, which you may notice throughout the year, um, that's an observation also. However, with that particular observation that the class is cold, you're not being able to be very specific. You can't give an actual temperature. And that's where we want to use an instrument. Okay. The use of an instrument allows for more accurate measurements than the human senses can determine. So we would use a thermometer to figure out what the actual temperature is. We can say, okay, now we know that it is 68 degrees in the classroom instead of just that it feels cold. Um, because that can be open to interpretation. What some people think is cold and what people think is warm is different from person to person. So instruments are more accurate. Um, same thing with finding distances. You may think something looks 10 feet long, but when you measure it, it's actually 8.5 feet long. Okay, So that's why we need to use those instruments if we're trying to be very accurate, which we definitely want to do in earth science. Now, inferences are going to be a little bit different. Okay. Uh, it's a logical interpretation of an event that is based on observations and prior knowledge. Um, and they're usually statements about the future or the past. So if we talk about uh, what the weather is right now, it's raining outside. Okay, That's an observation. We can see that it is actually raining right now. But if we say it's going to rain tonight, that's an inference. It hasn't happened yet. We don't know if it's going to rain until it actually happens. We can also use inferences talking about things in the past. Okay, if we you know, try to figure out a certain geological formation, we're inferring how that actually formed because we weren't there to witness its formation. Okay, so the, that is the big difference between an observation and an inference. An observation is something that we can, we can observe, we can witness it. An inference is um, a little bit more open to interpretation. Classification, this is something again that we are going to be doing a lot of this year and that's basically what science is, is grouping things together. Okay, it's the organizing or grouping items or objects with similar characteristics. If you have a box full of markers and you want to classify them, you may classify them by color, putting all the blue ones together and all the red ones together. In science, we have tons of classifications. We take science and break it down further. Um, we have biology, astronomy, geology, uh, meteorology, talking about the weather, chemistry, physics. So there are a lot of different things within science. And then even within that, we can break them down further. Like with geology, we can look at rocks. Well, there's different kinds of rocks. We have sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic. Or when we get into astronomy, and we start talking about stars, there are different types of stars, and those are placed into groups based on their similar characteristics as well. So you have dwarf stars, main sequence stars, giants, and supergiants, and those are all different groups of stars. So we're going to definitely be doing a lot of classification throughout the year, making lots of observations and inferences.